Water resources are being squeezed by climate change, population growth and changing lifestyles. Some say water will be the cause of future wars between nations. For the moment, however, the conflicts it produces are mostly local. A good example of how competition for water generates conflicts can be found in Spain. In the north of the country, places like Bilbao are well watered. But in the south and east, the threat of desertification looms large. It's in these parts of Spain that some of the most water-intensive industries thrive. Tourism is an important element of the Spanish economy, comprising roughly 11% of GDP. Whilst lush golf courses and water-stressed regions may seem out of place, keeping a course green uses comparatively little water. The industry that uses the most water, by far, in Spain is agriculture. But agriculture accounts for a small part of the country's GDP. Spain may be one of Europe's biggest users of wastewater in irrigation, but farmers in places like Valencia and Andalucía still rely heavily on surface and groundwater supplies. Plans to pipe water from the more verdant north of the country provoked angry protests and were mostly abandoned. Nobody wants to lose their water to someone else. So what do people who want more water than nature gives them do? They raid nature's own stores, the aquifers that lie underground. The Tablas de Daimiel in central Spain is an interesting example. An exceptionally wet winter has now covered the national park in water, but until recently, only 1% of the park was covered. Years of over-exploitation dried up the Guadiana River, which used to feed the wetlands. Farmers, meanwhile, have drained the aquifer with their wells. Last summer, the wetlands became so dry that they began to self-combust. The fires burned underground, ripping through the peat underlining. It's being suggested that the damage caused by this could lead to the water now going into the wetlands leaking out. That process has already happened a few miles upstream, where the River Guadiana has been damaged for good. No amount of winter rain will allow it to recover. The Tablas de Daimiel may eventually die a similar death, a monument to man's inability to manage even relatively abundant water resources. How do you tackle the problem? First, you must recognise that you have one. In Spain, that's taken a long time. In the Tablas de Daimiel region, the country's government is trying to control water use by buying up farms and wells, essentially nationalising some aspects of local farming. Water has also been piped in from other parts of the country. But the last time Spain's authorities tried this, only 5% of the water actually reached the park. The rest was lost, largely for natural reasons, along the way. Environmentalists argue that piping water into the wetlands is a mistake. It makes people think that they don't need to protect their own resources. Instead, they just demand more piped water. They say the best solution would be to turn off the tap and ban irrigation. Local farming would go to ruin, a painful but perhaps necessary lesson about how things should not be done.